The symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome can have a dramatic impact on your quality of life. In this video, we will be reviewing how we can manage your IBS symptoms. I'll be covering lifestyle, dietary modification, plus medications your doctor can prescribe, all to improve your IBS symptoms. Welcome to JHP Medical. I'm Dr. Hart Pinto, and I'll be reviewing the management of your irritable bowel syndrome. Previously, we have discussed the common symptoms of IBS and how your doctor can diagnose it. If you haven't seen this video already, it would be a good idea to review this first. You can access the video via the link here. If you find this video helpful, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. So how can your IBS symptoms be managed? We know that your experience of irritable bowel syndrome is individual and may vary compared with other people who also suffer from the condition. Given that there are several factors, including anxiety and certain diets, that may contribute to the symptoms you experience, a multifaceted management option is likely to be best. The management options discussed here are likely to influence everyone's IBS differently. Therefore, you should work closely with your doctor to finding what works best for you. If you have very mild symptoms of IBS, and it's not causing any detrimental effect on your quality of life, you may not need any treatment actually at all. It's important to remember that there is no cure for irritable bowel syndrome, and the management options are unlikely to completely remove all your symptoms. However, they can be used in combination to improve your quality of life. So, let's look at all the options. First, it's important to address lifestyle factors. Making lifestyle changes aren't easy. However, if you are dedicated and commit to a lifestyle plan with your doctor's advice, you should experience an improvement in your IBS symptoms. So first of all, exercise. Exercise is a proven factor that can significantly improve your symptoms of IBS. Exercising regularly has several additional health benefits. It can be used to effectively control your weight, improve your mental well-being, and reduce your risks of heart attacks, strokes, and cancers. Your mental health. So maintaining your mental health is an important factor which can help your IBS symptoms. You may be someone that finds that during stressful or emotional periods, your IBS symptoms worsen. Therefore, it's important to avoid precipitating factors where possible. Research has shown that patients who engage in meditation improve their mental well-being and can significantly improve their symptoms of IBS. So what about my diet? It's recommended that we take regular meals and chew our food very well. We should never skip any meals and this can all help with our digestion, nutrition and reduction of IBS symptoms. You may have noticed that certain foods or drinks can trigger your IBS and it's best to limit your caffeine intake to around three cups or less of tea or coffee per day and reduce as much as possible alcoholic or fizzy drinks. For many patients, spicy and fatty foods can also play a role. Where this is the case, it's best to avoid these triggers. Avoidance of food and drinks containing sorbitol, a sweetener, and limiting your intake of fresh fruit to only three portions per day is also advisable. So is limiting your intake of wholemeal or high fiber wheat flour or high fiber bran. Where possible, you should really keep a food and symptom diary. This can be particularly helpful in identifying those dietary causes. Throughout the day, you should make sure you're staying hydrated. You should consume plenty of water as this helps with the digestive system, assisting in the breakdown of the food and helping your body absorb all the essential nutrients. Water also helps soften your stool, helping to prevent constipation which can be a major symptom for some people with IBS. Probiotics containing live bacteria have shown to be beneficial at improving symptoms in some patients with IBS. If you want to try probiotics for your IBS, it's best to commit to at least a four week trial period as it can take some time for the results to show. If diet is remaining a major factor contributing to your IBS symptoms, despite taking the actions above, you may benefit from the advice of a registered dietitian. In these cases, they may consider placing you on a special diet called a FODMAP diet. Your doctor can organize a referral for this. What about medications? So your doctor may prescribe medications to improve your symptoms of IBS. Medications aren't always necessary for everyone, and you may wish to trial the lifestyle and dietary changes first. 
Using medication should be a joint decision between you and your doctor. Abdominal cramps can be managed with medications that prevent the muscle spasms within the gut. These medications are known as antispasmodics, and some commonly used examples are hyacine butyl bromide, under the commercial name of buscopan, and peppermint oils. Abdominal bloating is caused by gaseous buildup within the gut. Some patients find that peppermint oils are useful in relieving the sensation of fullness associated with the gaseous distension. Episodes of diarrhea can come at the most inappropriate times, and this of course can be of great embarrassment for patients. Medications which can slow down the gut can help reduce these episodes. One example is loperamide. However, the required dose for each patient is variable. Episodes of constipation can leave patients in considerable discomfort. Short courses of laxatives can be useful if you're suffering from a period of constipation. For patients with difficult to manage constipation in IBS, you may benefit from a medication called linoclotide. This medication works by increasing the movement of the bowel and also helps in reducing discomfort associated with the IBS. You may also consider soluble fibre supplements or foods high in soluble fibre such as oats or linseed to help improve your symptoms of constipation. We also know that anxiety and stress can worsen your symptoms of IBS and medications can help to improve your mental health can also improve these symptoms. Commonly used medications such as SSRIs or tricyclic antidepressants are proven to be effective in the management of IBS. In many patients, antidepressant medication can be an effective management, even in the absence of any mental health concerns. So what's my prognosis, Doc? Around two in every three patients can be effectively managed with appropriate medical support, with significant improvements in symptoms and quality of life. If you are suffering from IBS, it's important to know that most patients can remain free of severe symptoms. However, mild symptoms may persist for some time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've reviewed the management of IBS and you can work in collaboration with your doctor to find an option that works best for you. Don't forget to subscribe and interact with us by giving us a thumbs up or leaving a comment down below if you found this information useful. By doing this, you help support the growth of this channel and our mission to help educate as many people about their medical conditions as possible and hopefully improve your quality of life. Of course, this video does not provide any individual medical advice and is intended for information purposes only. Do not consider this as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Please don't ignore professional medical advice in seeking treatment because of something you've heard here. If you believe you may have a medical emergency, immediately call your doctor or ambulance service. Thanks for watching. See you next time.